Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida, here today to show you a very neat little tool called Mosier, or the Mosier tool or Mosier device. This lets you measure pretty much anything you want very easily, and all you need is a smartphone. And I didn't mean for these to color coordinate. I, I kept losing my phone, so I got this girly mint green, but it, it does, they go nicely together. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how the Mosier works. We're gonna take a look at the app. We're gonna look at some real world practical application of some of the popular trades that are using this tool and that really like it. If you don't do much measuring, this tool may not be for you. If you're somebody who needs millimeter precision accuracy, this isn't the tool for you. This is gonna be plus or minus half a percent in any dimension that it measures. Another objection might be, well, Brad, why don't you just use Google Maps? And for some things that may work, I'm not gonna argue that. But what I have found is that sometimes this will happen. What you're looking at now is your client's favorite oak tree and they want a brand new planter installed all around the trunk. But guess what? This is the view you're gonna get with Google. So if you've got a measurement there, <laughs> and you need to see what's under that tree, you just can't do it with satellite photography. Here's another thing. You see this satellite photo right here? This is the most current shot of this specific area. And guess what? I've been mowing this lawn for the past eight months. <laughs> so depending on the area, you're gonna see a lag from between one to three years where satellite pictures may not have been updated. So those are a few of what I think will be the most common objections to this tool. Again, it's important to know what it is and, and what it isn't. So here's an example. Let's say you've got a client who needs a ramp and you need to change an elevation measurement. We can do that very easily with the 3D draw feature. So we'll go ahead and start our measurement and move to our points, which our device went to sleep. Wake it back up. bring it back to this last point to finish. And then we'll click finish measurement. We'll see those last two points snap together. And then what we will see is that by very simply tapping on these points, we can see the changes in elevation. And that's pretty neat. And since I was the one who brought up the example of the landscape planter around the oak tree, I figure it's only fair that we show you how to do that. So we'll go ahead and wake Mosier up so we can do a circle. On the circle, if you don't have a defined area, you're going to want to capture as many points as you can. So you're going to see me stop a lot because I, I don't know exactly what a perfect circle looks like. So I'm going to do my best. You saw that with each measurement, the accuracy got a little bit more dialed in as it realized what the shape actually was. Now, another example for the green industry, let's say you've got a client like me with some bad spots in their yard and they want that spot removed and replaced with sod. Well, let's go ahead and 3D draw to find out exactly how much material we're gonna need. I think we'll come over this way. And again, I'm just drawing the space based on what sod looks good and which maybe we should pull out. We'll come all the way over here. And again, you may see more or less spots that I need to. This is all just really a demonstration. In actuality, I should probably pull my whole yard up and restart, right? <laughs> and then somewhere back to about the finish. That's close enough. So then there we see that we're gonna need 550 square feet of sod and maybe you're a paver guy. So you've got somebody who wants to redo their concrete driveway in patio pavers. No problem, we're gonna use 3D draw. We'll get the area as well as the gradient. If you guys need to pay attention to that, I don't know anything about pavers, so I'm assuming you do.
And again, eight seconds is the magic number. So if you've got somewhere that you think is gonna take longer than eight seconds to get to, just pause in the middle. And so again, we've got all these numbers, all these measurements. We've got this 3D drawing that we can use for our reference points. We've got the Z measurements as well, so we can see what kind of slope that we're dealing with. So those are just a few of the many ways you can use this little Mosier tool. I think it's pretty neat. I'm not somebody who's gonna be using it every day, but if you are, I think you'll be able to see how it can be a real big labor and time savings rather than having to tote out a 100 foot measure or you know whatever kind of tools that you used to do things manually before, this is gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of space in your work area. I mean, you can show up to a measuring job with just the phone in one pocket and the Mosier in the other, right? And that's, that's kind of neat. Uh, but again, this being a time and labor saving tool is gonna be the way that you would appreciate it the most, at least in my opinion. If you've got more questions about this tool, leave them down below in the comments. Mosier, the company, is actually going to be monitoring these comments, so if it's something that I can't answer, they'll jump in. Uh, if you've got any questions about other applications, or can I use it for this, can I use it for that, leave those down. Basically, any questions you have, leave them down below and we'll get them answered. If you've got any ideas for videos where you would like to see this used, leave those too. I'd love suggestions so we can know if you guys want to see more of this tool or not. Here's a few more videos that YouTube thinks you might like. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.